Hello, my name is John Canavan. Most people know me from my work on solar thermal applications. With the help of Richard Helliger, I developed a low-cost practical differential controller to automate the process of collecting solar heat. Now you are probably wondering what this has to do with automating the process of cooling a walk-in cooler. Well, as you probably know, commercial walk-in coolers are very expensive. For this reason, farmers and restaurant owners are building their own walk-in coolers with 2x3s, solid insulation, and an air conditioner. Unfortunately, air conditioners are only designed to bring the room temperature down to 60 degrees Fahrenheit or so. To force an air conditioner to stay on longer than the threshold of 60 degrees Fahrenheit, the AC sensor must be tricked into believing the room is warmer than it is. This is done by attaching a small heater probe to the AC sensor. However, tricking the AC sensor is only part of the problem. If the walk-in cooler gets too cold, ice forms on the cooling fins and blocks airflow. This puts an end to the cooling process. To address this problem, a sensor is placed on the cooling fins and shuts the AC off when the fins approach the freezing point. To better understand how this is accomplished, we'll first take a close look at the basic differential controller. We won't have to understand the entire circuit to understand how temperatures are compared. We'll be using the standard 10K NTC thermistor to sense temperature. This thermistor has a resistance of 10,000 ohms at 75 degrees Fahrenheit. As the temperature goes up, the resistance goes down. At a temperature of 35 degrees Fahrenheit, the thermistor resistance goes up to about 22K, or that's 22,000 ohms. If we connect two thermistors in series and place 5 volts on one end and ground on the other end, we have a voltage divider. Now if both thermistors are at the same temperature, their resistance is the same, and the common junction voltage will be half the supply voltage, or 2.5 volts. If we heat the top probe and leave the bottom probe alone, the common junction voltage will raise in proportion to the temperature differences of both probes. In this example, the common junction voltage rises to 3.3 volts. Now, suppose we want to lower the common junction voltage when the top thermistor temperature approaches 35 degrees Fahrenheit. Remember, the thermistor resistance is 22,000 ohms at 35 degrees Fahrenheit. So if we substitute a 22K resistor for the bottom thermistor, the common junction voltage will drop below 2.5 volts and turn the heater probe off. And when the heater probe is off, the AC will turn off. Are you still confused about the function of the cool controller? Let's clarify with a simplified demonstration is going to attempt to explain how the cool controller works. Now on a day like today, we wouldn't really need a cool controller. All we have to do is walk outside. And we'd have all the coolness that we'd ever need. But every day isn't going to be like this. And some days we might actually need a cool controller. So as the temperature of the fins approaches the freezing point, we want the air conditioner to turn off. Now to demonstrate that, what I have here is a little piece of ice and the, the sensor probe. Now th this will be attached to the fins. So when those fins approach the freezing point of water, it should turn the air conditioner off. Let's see if that really works. Alright, I'm going to turn the air conditioner on and then Put the probe in here. Now I want you to keep your eye on both these little lights. There's a red light and a green light. When the green light is on, the air conditioner is on. When the red light is bright, 
it means that there's a lot of heat available that needs to get be get get rid of. Anyway, as the temperature of the uh, cooling fins of the air conditioner get cooler, you'll see the red light get dimmer. Let's see if that actually happens. Okay, we'll immerse the probe in our little jar of ice. Watch that red light now. We're losing heat, getting dimmer. Dimmer, dimmer. Not making the best contact for the ice, but it's always taking a little bit of ribbon. You'd like it to. But there, you can see that it turned the uh, air conditioner off as it approaches the freezing point of water. And that's what we want. Once the probe starts warms up again, you can turn the air conditioner back on. Once it's on and off, Turns it off, let it warm up a little bit, and the air conditioner will come back on. That's all it is. Simple enough. Anyway, if you need uh, a, co a controller to go along with your walk-in cooler and air conditioner, this is a good one. Thank you.